Hello, I'm Wayne Barlow and today I'm going to demonstrate mapping and loading configurations into the XYR3000 family of radios. Each radio in the 3000 family has a different function, so I encourage you to engage your AC Controls account manager to help you select the proper equipment for your application. Let's start by loading the software that comes with the radio labeled XYR3000 Companion CD. Now that you've opened this CD, we're going to go to XYR3000 Companion CD software. Today I've selected the 3001 I.O. radios, so um, we're going to install the XYR3000 I.O. and Gateway configuration software. Once this is loaded, we can then start our mapping. To do our mapping, we open the uh, 3000 software. We just load it from our Companion CD, and we have new radios so we're going to open a new project. You get to name that project. Today we're going to name it Demo 82212. Okay, now that we have our new project labeled, below you see units. We're going to highlight units and add a new unit. The new unit type is, of course, the XYR3001 that we mentioned earlier. So we're going to load that unit and it says do you wish to manually select an address. In this case I'm going to say no and it is going to label that unit, the first unit I map, as unit number one. Okay, now that we have that unit loaded, we're going to load another unit by highlighting units, add new unit. We're going to select again a 3001 because that radio is the same. We'll select OK. Do you wish to manually select the address and I'm going to select no again. It'll label that one unit number two. And the unit address now is number two. Okay, so we'll start by mapping the first unit, which is unit number one. In this case, that will be the tank unit. You pull your tree down and then you go to mappings, new IO mapping. In this case, I want an analog input from radio number one to drive an analog output from radio number two. So I select the input in radio 1. In this case, I'm going to select input 1. Its destination will be radio 2, and I'm going to select analog output 1. So now your analog value in unit 1 will drive the analog output in unit 2. Once you've configured this, you hit apply. The first step of your mapping is done. You can continue with this with discrete inputs and outputs, battery low, battery voltage. You can also have set points which are values given for analog inputs that range outside of your set point values. You can set those set point values by going to set points. In this case, in this radio, we only have one set point driver and that's set point one. You can adjust the low set point and high set point by double clicking on the set point or hitting edit set point. In this case, our low set point is 30%, our high is 70. You can adjust that anywhere from 1 to 99. Once your mapping is complete, then you want to load your configuration into each associated radio. To address that, you click on the radio you're about to connect to, which in this case will be unit number one. So we need to serially connect from our PC to radio number one. Make sure we have radio one highlighted. Click this tab and it will write your configuration to that unit. Once your mapping is complete and your configuration is loaded into each radio, you can then mount your units in the field, tie in associated wiring, and watch your product work for you. Again, let me encourage you to engage your AC Controls account manager to make sure you select the proper equipment for your application. Thank you and have a nice day.